What's up? How are you guys this week? Another Monday in the Matrix down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. And I am a little more excited than usual because we have many things in the works. Uh, mainly a farm prospect. You know, I might have some Amish buddies, although I'm not too optimistic about the Amish. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But just like the past few weeks, I would like to start with some very kind reviews from my lovely customers. So this is for our ribeye steaks referred by a client. I'm so happy your name came up in conversation. I'm a customer for life. So all of our meat is 100% grass fed and grass finished, but you know, people are used to getting these like really thin, scrawny ribeye steaks. Ours are cut about one inch thick, one pound each. So even if you're not gonna eat it all in one sitting, at least you have something that's very nicely cooked and uh, delicious. The next review is for the cheddar cheese. So good. This cheese is the best cheddar I've had. I've almost eaten the whole thing by myself already. So since we have a decent volume of cheese, we're able to order it fresh every single week. We keep it in the fridge, it doesn't get frozen, and we put it on top of the order so it usually arrives fresh as well. The next review is for the bone broth. Best bone broth. This is by far the best bone broth I've ever tried. The consistency of the flavor exceptional. You can taste the quality of this product as it doesn't disappoint. This is something you really should try. 10 out of 10 would buy again. Out of all the product ideas I've ever come up with, I'm surprised this bone broth collagen isn't selling more. With all the hype about collagen powders, people talking about it, collagen, 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 how am I not selling 100 of these a day at this point? I don't know. Our last review is for the skirt steak, frozen and fresh. My biggest concern with shipping meat is, will it arrive cold? It arrived colder than the Arctic. Love this place. So I don't really know why people are worried about the meat not arriving frozen. Like worst case scenario, I just give you a refund. And I'm assuming it's because other companies don't refund. So, you know, they'd rather lose the customer. But I mean, I don't care, guys. As I've said, I'm already hemorrhaging money. And I think that might have a lot to do with UPS hiking up the prices without me really knowing about it. And, you know, I was looking at my invoices for the past few weeks and UPS is basically charging me double to triple what FedEx would. And that's kind of eating into all of my profit, basically. So, you know, without complaining too much about, you know, the contract, not being on top of it, how much money I could have made. Look, I could complain about other stuff, too. If I was half a foot taller and I had a rich Jewish girlfriend, hey, I might not be here. So, you know, th there's a bunch of possibilities that, um, that I'd rather not get into. But uh, we have two exciting things this week, new products in. Uh, the beef belly, we are slicing it like bacon in one pound packages. I'll show you guys that when we hop in the freezer. And uh, I guess even more anticipated, the meat granola is finally back. If you guys don't know what our meat granola is, it's mostly meat 90 percent dried beef but it doesn't taste like meat at all in this we have all organic ingredients coconut flakes blueberries macadamia nuts honey and salt although you know it's as i said mostly meat and the majority of the calories are animal-based protein i'm going to really emphasize this it does not taste like meat if you give this to a kid they'll ask you what it is it really does taste like the coconut, the blueberry, the macadamia nut, the honey adds like a nice floral flavor. And that's the reason I like this meat granola product so much. You know, I talk about how good our jerky is, the pemmican's really nice, but you know, when you eat those products, you're eating beef, you can taste it. So this meat granola, guys, it's really special. Eight ounces, we might even start doing uh, the dried beef separately. And I mean, this is something I can eat, even with my really strict diet. So. Hopefully I don't uh, overconsume too much protein using this stuff. So this is available, guys, on frankiesfreerangefoods.com. As much as I would like to offer it on the meat website, if you guys order 10 of these and I, gotta, I can't ship it on ice. So same with like the beef tallow and the jerky and all that stuff, guys, the water keeper. It's on frankiesfreerangefoods.com. You do get free shipping on a certain price. Amazing, amazing stuff, guys. We figured out how to use the dehydrator to make this, so we should have it consistently for a while. We did run out of pemmican, we're low on beef jerky, uh, but we also have the new apple bar formula. So this is the new apple bar formula. These are really, really delicious, even better than the previous ones. If you guys did order those old ones, you can tell the color's a lot different. Um, it's very light, and we did add a few uh, more ingredients to it. These are for sale on frankiesurianfoods.com right now, but I probably won't have them packaged up until later this week, so you guys might have to wait a few days. It's apple, coconut, 
walnut butter, macadamia nut butter, honey. So it's only five ingredients. And the main difference between these and the old ones is that the texture of these is much more similar to our regular best bars. It's like eating cake. It's very, very smooth texture. In regards to the rest of the non-perishable products, uh, we are running out of the Wagyu beef tallow and I think that product is going to be unfortunately discontinued because we are trying to you know, be more local and source everything realistically, consistently. Water kefir, we have the plain in stock. So we're sold out of the flavors for the next week or two. We're going to have the water kefir in stock. But if you guys haven't been on Frank Easter Range Foods in a little while, uh, check out the website. I changed things up a little bit. Into the depths of the freezer. So here is the beef belly sliced as bacon. Labeled grass-fed beef belly, about one pound. My guys always give you a little too much extra meat. But this is nice, raw beef belly, throw it in a pan, sear it up for breakfast. In addition to the beef bacon, we do have the pork bacon as well, which is a little bit on the fatty side, as you guys can see. So I'll try to make sure my guys are selecting the pork bacon with a little more meat on it. We got a few smaller portion ribeyes in if you guys want to try these out. They're kind of on a discount. Uh, we have some 10 ounce and 8 ounce ribeyes. But product wise, we have just about everything for you guys. I've been trying to get, you know, some lamb brains in stock. But you know, as I said the other week, we have the lamb heads. Uh, we did run out of whole chickens, which should be back in stock by the end of this week. We have the salmon caviar, the regular caviar. Uh, we have some ground shuck, which is nice and freshly ground wrapped in paper here too and we have all of that coarse ground beef wrapped in paper guys we have the chuck the strip and the tenderloin because i used the wrong paper on that um i, I think i'll put it on a pretty ridiculous discount this week and you guys can get that at a nice price probably seven or eight dollars so we weren't as busy this week but <laughs> you guys placed about 50 orders overnight from last night into today so you know a little bit uh a little bit more work so my guys have been packing up orders all day we got a few pallets here and I uh, almost forgot to ask you guys, would you be interested in pet food? And I mean specifically like dog and cat food. Uh, there's something called like the raw prey model diet. And I have a, a supplier that might be able to make it very, very cheap. Obviously, you know, this is like organs, meat trimmings, stuff that, you know, people wouldn't normally eat that would normally go into dog food. But we can do like a raw meat version of it. So if you guys are like currently buying raw pet food, just let me know how much you would pay for it because the problem is I could sell it separately and ship it with the meat. I don't know how many people would be interested in that. It wouldn't be that profitable, but if it's something to just get a few new customers in and that you guys would enjoy maybe because I've been looking online. I don't really see anyone else selling, you know, raw grass fed pet food. And I think we can uh, do the same model for cats and dogs, I think they eat the exact same uh, ratios. Down here at Oregon Supplements, we don't really have anything going on, uh, but we are running a bit low on some of the beef powders, guys. And my suppliers don't respond to my email, so uh, maybe we'll try to get some fresh glandulars in from somewhere. I, I don't think that's gonna pan out, so maybe we'll just have to do a little bit of restock in a month or two. Frankie's Naturals Wi-Fi shielding, nothing really new going on. If you guys don't know, Frankie's Naturals, we just have the hygiene and cosmetic products. Maybe I need to do an update video on that. The lip balm, the tooth powder, deodorant, hair pomade, moisturizing cream, African black soap, and clay shampoo. If you guys have any problems with it, if you don't like any formula changes, whatever, just please reach out to me. Let me know. We can sort something out. And on the Wi-Fi shielding, we are low on a lot of stuff, like certain size shorts and uh, t-shirts. We have a decent amount of the joggers and uh, the canopies. I think I got to order more because we are running out of bed canopies. But as always, I am wearing the Wi-Fi shielding joggers and then another t-shirt underneath because you know the Wi-Fi EMF down here in the city can be pretty high. So if you guys saw my vlog last week you know I was uh, reached out to by some Amish person. Uh, they read my letter proposal last week for pricing on the dairy and the eggs uh, which is the main thing. Maybe start with just uh, the milk and the eggs, corn and soy free eggs and the grass-fed A2 dairy. And then uh, he didn't have anything to do with the skim milk if he makes butter and cream so i suggested he can feed it to the chickens or get some pigs so there might be potential for us to do uh, some actual pasture raised pork corn and soy free instead of having to get the iberical pork from spain and uh, there also might be potential for some uh, fre fresh beef again consistently we'll see we'll see how it is you know as much as i would like to get the farm myself this uh might be an opportunity to have um, 
a slightly higher quality of products that I have more control over and then um, and then transition to the farm in the future when I, I can do so. But again, I, I don't have my hopes high because the, the price point of some of this stuff is just not feasible. Um, the only reason I am optimistic about it is because these guys already have a truck coming into New York every week, so I don't have to figure out how to get the products here. That's, that's the main thing, you know, either spending a few hours a day uh, in the car myself, transporting that stuff and buying a van and hiring a driver. Like the, the logistics stuff is kind of sorted out somewhat. Uh, so maybe that'll happen relatively quickly and uh, that should be the next big step. Um, even bigger, which I didn't really go into earlier in this video, is, is we might be switching over to FedEx, which, and instead of UPS price gouging me, like some, they were charging me $200 to ship some of those West Coast orders. And I remember in the original pricing agreement when we started, we were only paying like 70 or 80, which is still a lot. But um, I, I spoke to FedEx last week and they said it should be around that price for me. So if that happens, hypothetically, uh, switching to FedEx and the price of the West Coast orders being much lower, uh, we should be able to either uh, get a farm soon and be able to afford the payroll or I can relocate to a warehouse and a facility that uh, I'm much more comfortable operating in. We can expand with some more machinery for the organ supplement stuff, but I don't know. It's all on the table and um, I don't have a pretty Russian or Ukrainian girl on my lap yet. So I think, I think uh, I'm feeling better. Uh, I wasn't getting so much sleep the past few weeks, but the past few days have been slightly better. So we'll see. I'm sticking it out. Uh, I did want to thank you guys so much for supporting me. And as always, guys, if anything is wrong with your order, please let me know. Uh, you know, I don't have complete control over how every single thing is packaged, although I try to make sure the quality is as good as possible, which is, you know, why I'm so pressed on getting the farm, getting the products, because just to remove that, that small percent of orders that get messed up or people aren't getting things they want, uh, I don't know. Um, you know, we did the roast beef a few weeks ago. We should have the roast beef back in stock soon. We're slicing the bacon. We got the meat granola. We're coming out with more products every week to try to keep the customer base high and keep you guys happy and interested. Eventually we'll have everything uh, from the meat perspective and then hopefully we can look into some other stuff. But as always, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, you can check out frank We have all the businesses, particularly Frankie Strange Meat, as well as Frankie Strange Foods. So go on the websites, guys, if you haven't, check them out. Some very interesting products on there. And uh, we also have the other stuff on there as well. Organ supplements, Frankie's Naturals, Wi-Fi shielding. So. Thanks again for joining me, guys. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Uh, what was the deal? Hopefully, uh, I don't know. You guys should have bought all my meat now with all the fear mongering about the food supply chain, right?